Hello everyone, Pally Tub here and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We join our party inside of the Crash Camp, a place that I don't get to see very often in our playthroughs, so I wanted to take a second to enjoy it. We've been moving through the Githyanki Crash in Act 1 at a blazing pace. There is one more fight inside of its walls and it's one of the hardest fights of the act. So I wanted to make sure that we were prepared for the day to come. So we went back to base. I had Fuzzlump create all of our good berries for the night and we should be able to get a nice little rest. Assuming nothing else bad happens in the middle of the night, which that never happens. I'm sure we're fine. Look at that 44 food like it's nothing. I love that. Well, after an uneventful night, our party continues us. deeper into the crash. We fought the commander, basically the second in charge here inside of this room, the captain. We took them down and now we are heading into the inquisitor's chambers. If things go poorly on this fight, I could lose my entire save file right here. And because it's honor mode, that means I'd have to start over from the very beginning of the game. So I'm hoping this goes relatively well. I am cursed. Strength is indefinitely reduced by one. However, Shadowheart does have remove curse. I was incorrect. It says I'm not cursed though. So, Dungan's just really weak. Dungan's just gonna be weak for the rest of the game because I didn't have a level three spell slot to remove a stupid hag potion. Ah, oh, I hate that seven strength. Oh God, that's horrible. Luckily, we don't have to do too much heavy lifting with our current party. So, I'm a little worried about the next room. I want to make sure we prepare as best we can for what is way. coming. So I actually think I want to draw these guys out into this room if I can. It does kind of look like I can crowd the sides of the door here, which will be very useful. And just really quickly, I'm going to have Astarian um, move this out of the way. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. Oh, no, that one's fixed. Can I break it? Okay, normally with this kind of Okay, that's just a floating fire. Normally with this kind of thing, you could just click and drag it out of your way. Looks like that was not the case there. So we're gonna have Lazel sneak and get right up against the wall. Shadowheart do the same. And then Astarian's just gonna be a little bit further back. He has really good unarmored movement, so I think he'll be able to get up there no problem. And then as I'm entering on Dungan, Dungan's gonna be the first person to go in. As I do enter, I would love to have a sanctuary just in case to get things started. Although I should probably get everyone together for a quick aid. Let's not forget that. Level three. That's not her concentration. Sanctuary in place. And we're going to crouch down really fast. I'm very worried that this fight could end my game. So going in prepared. Let's close the door. Now, I am going to need to be quick. Hello, uh, getting, getting to dialogue, please. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing geek slave vessel. Chirai, Vlacketh's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. Pleased to meet I you too. enough druids died by your hands to make the deity Sylvanus himself weak. <laughs> to business. I've never heard that dialogue. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geek ship. Something that belongs to us. I forgot the there was dialogue here. Crap! Do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. Oh, uh, we should keep Lazel happy. I'm going to produce the artifact. No. So it is found. Vlacketh! Vlacketh Gorg Shkathzai. My queen. Everybody bow! Shkathzai. Everybody bow! You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to me. Yes, the of course. The queen has spoken. You will obey. No shit, we're in her house. Yes, Neil. 
I'm not trying to get ripped in half today. These attendants you keep, you taught them well, my child, my laser. Nice, dude. You know me. Erlon of Kalia speaks most highly, as did Archaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. That would be amazing, Blacketh. Istic, you wear that which is ours. But are you friend or are you thief? Definitely friend. Most definitely. I did not take the weapon from you, but I am returning it. An unexpected servant. Your will is strong. Your kind stoic endurance will be a boon to our cause. Extend your fealty one step further, and you will be rewarded beyond your mortal reckoning. That weapon you carry, the astral prison, it is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped, broken, a blight. They are an agent of the grand design, sent to sabotage the astral prison. Our last defense against the return of the Enlithid Empire. As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Whoa! -ho -ho. Do this, and I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this and ascend. Ascension, my queen. An honor gained, a burden borne. You must accept, refuse, and you will know my fury. <laughs> uh, I will do as you wish, then. Plaincaster's power to enter the artifact. Be wary of the creature's lying tongue. Cut it out if you must. The war gas? They are not to leave until it is done. As you say, my queen. Shmar Zalav lacketh. We will not waste a second. Blacketh has spoken. Do not leave this room except to enter the prism. Turn your back on me, and you will feel my blade against it. I've never been threatened by Lazel like that either. God, Lazel, we're on the same team. Well, Dungan still does technically don't. have. Don't do it. I'm entering the astral prism. 100 percent. I'm going in. We still have Sanctuary for seven more turns because we've been in dialogue. I need to stay in dialogue. Heat pulses out of the astral prism as it begins to flower. Your mind burns hot with excitement. Really wasn't expecting my whole party to be brought in here with me. I guess that does make sense. I just tried specifically to break off Dungan. I'm worried that means the positioning I did outside of this fight won't matter, which would be very bad. A timeless space, bounded, compressed in a fold. A pocket of astral plane. Every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. Well, Dungan is going to take a step forward and then leap with his new found gravity powers. I still have five turns on these four turns on the sanctuary. Go! I've entered the beckoning cave. I have to come in alone. So you came. 
In spite of all my warnings. Disappointing. Come. We will talk in private. Just the two of us. Follow the voice in. I may have made a mistake. Oh, look! I told you to stay away from the Gith Yankee. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? Well, no, I kind of have one in my party and she wanted to go there. And now... You've come here to murder me. I could never do that to you, Kalark. Vlacket told me that you're an agent of the Illithid Grand Design. I told you I stole the artifact from someone. Well... I stole it from Vlacket. You dastardly dog. Since then, she has become desperate. Vlacket wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule. The end of her. Should I tell Lazel or are we that keeping that between us? It's how I've been protecting you from the absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakith warned you that I would try to deceive you, but consider this. Considering? What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. Mm. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. Mm. Get up, you won't die today. <laughs> oh, shit. Is this some kind of trick? I already told you I'd protect you. That I saved you. If this was not enough to convince you, what more is there to say? Get up, Kalark. I won't kill you today. It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Duncan's a good guy. Thank you. Vlakith will be furious to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. Yes, she will. Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Um... What deception are you talking about, Kalark? Vlakith is lying to the Githyanki. They believe she knows how their beloved Mother Gith defeated the Mind Flayer Empire. But she does not. If the Elithids would ever rise to power again, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist Elithid control, which Vlakith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. So you're more powerful than Vlack. Extracted from my corpse. In some ways. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. <laughs> well, let her try. She most certainly will. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the absolute. I think we're getting closer. We're on the right path. Yes. Rise towers. Return to it. I will, Kalak. The Inquisitor awaits your return from this place with orders to kill you. No doubt the rest of the crush will join him. Good luck. I'll see you again soon, Kalak. Have you killed my queen's enemy? What if I lie? Oh shit. Oh I'm not gonna kill them, they're protecting us from the absolute. Let's just that's the truth. Blasphemy. She warned you not to trust the one inside. Your mind tingles. Lazelle seeks entrance. And I will not keep her out. I'm going to show her everything in my memories. Although the persuasion... Oh, the Inquisitor is going to kill you, Lazelle. Is that proof enough of my honor? If I open my mind to her, then she knows the truth about Vlacketh. If I close off my mind and say this, then she doesn't. 
And I kind of like the idea of Lazel still thinking Vlacketh is you know, her guiding light. Can do no wrong. I'm really good at persuasion, too. Uh, we need a 12. We rolled a 14. Closer than it should have been. I have a mind to end you here and now. But you either believe your own words or have suddenly mastered the duplicitous arts. A both. To the Inquisitor. And let us see who speaks with Serpent's tongue. If I hurry, I can get out of this place and still have sanctuary! Go! Yes! One turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He just told me to stop that. Lizelle, I've been waiting. You are named Hashalak. Bend your head, for my blade is ready. Right, please, summon Vlacketh. There's much- Irrelevant, geek wretch. Oh no! Has spoken. Your death is decreed. You realize what Lazel doesn't. Whatever the outcome of your visit to the astral prism, Flakith had no intention of letting either of you live. Sad day, dude. Sad day, dude. With me. Well, not only is my entire party brought into the room, which is something I was trying to avoid, we lost our sanctuary, which was another something that I was trying to avoid. As we peer around the room, there are one, two, three, four, five Githyanki. Deadly and aimed to kill. Some of these are casters, some of these are melee dudes. Uh, is that a sword? That's a one-hand sword. I know for sure that the two-hand weapon users have parry. I don't think the single-handed ones do. So, Shadow Hearts is going to need to lower the effective offensive capabilities of the main guy here. He's level six. How we're gonna do that is pretty easy. We're gonna walk forward, hit him in swirly whirlies, and get the radiating orb started. Now, I'm not gonna end her turn. We're gonna figure out what else we're gonna do. Because luckily for me, everyone in my party gets to go at the exact same time. I think we should probably focus our attention on the Ardent to our left. Dungan fires off a shot. We do frighten the target. And what did he do? Mind Claws. Inquisitor Wawargas can use a legendary action to summon a Mind Claw. Oh! Oh, he summoned a weapon. Where? Am I, am I blind? Oh, it's right, oh, it's right next to me. That's his purple weapon right here. So he summoned that in on Dungan, which kind of sucks, because that does mean that I am threatened because an enemy is in melee range of me. I think if I misty step up here, using my bonus action, I should be able to fire down another shot from up top, take down the caster, and unfortunately have another blade summoned in on me. But those are the only two that he can summon. These things have 30 HP. They don't look like they do too much. So I th think I'm gonna ignore them. Uh, Astarian rips to the right side of the room and he is going to rage. With this new rage of his, we are going to use Tiger's Bloodlust to try and not only bleed this target, but maim them as well. I'm gonna swing again, recklessly and we take them down in a single go. Now with the rest of his movement, Astarian is going to run towards the stairway here and try to get up to the guys up top. Time to strike. Now Lazel is up and ready to move. This guy has a parry ready, so I don't think I want to get any damage against him going. I'm going to Misty Step up top so I can threaten the archer. That just means he has a less likely chance of hitting. Uh, and then I'm gonna, just gonna start swinging. Uh, moved a little too much there, that's okay. We'll just turn right back around. Action surge, and we will swing one more time. And unfortunately, I don't have quite enough movement to make my way over to this other guy. He has a parry ready as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna make Lazel the target that he goes after. And I think that's pretty okay. If I'm super worried about this sword, I could cast a Sanctuary on Dungan. Oh, I put it on the 
on the weapon. <laughs> it's fine. It'll it'll leave it like it'll get rid of sanctuary when it attacks me. That's just not ideal. That is not ideal. As we end all of our turns, the Githyanki start to move. We see a big hit hitting Lazel, but this guy is reeling now. Well, Wargaz uses his Misty Step to get away from us and then does some kind of massive link to everyone here. A Mind Steel Link being drained by Wargaz. Received a negative two penalty to armor class and we are vulnerable to psychic damage. Well, that definitely makes this worse because both of these weapons hitting Dungan are dealing psychic damage. We are going to see Dungan use his other Misty Step to get him the fuck out of there. It says prov provokes attack of opportunity. So let me just get literally anywhere else. I'll just zoom over here. That'll keep those weapons away from me for at least a little bit. How do we want to play out this turn? He's still ready to parry. So what we're gonna do is have Shadow Hearts melee him. Did miss. She applied more of the radiating orb, so that's good. Um, let's have Lazel trip this dude. He's parrying. Shouldn't have done that. Should just swung. That would have saved my superiority die. Wait, he's still spawning weapons. Fuck. Okay. Trip attack. Did not kill him. And more weapons have just been spawned. Bro, I thought he only had two legendary actions. Uh, okay, well, second wind on Lazel then, because she's about to have a lot of damage coming towards her. A lot of damage. Where do I go uh, Dungan is going to step out to the side, and he's going to shoot the warrior that Lazel was fighting. May the gods take you first. <laughs> and he is dead. I'm then going to use a uh, slashing flourish, and I'm actually going to focus on these swords because I'm pretty scared of their damage. So there's one on this sword. We'll just do both on this sword. And it's been killed. Okay, not how I really wanted to use Dungan's turn, but I think that will do. Uh, Lazelle is done with her turn as well. Uh, we are still raging on Astarian, and we're gonna start swinging at the main guy. Every time we apply bleed, we're also getting reverberation. He already has four stacks of reverberation. As we hit him again, if we do connect, oh, you didn't go down, huh? Well, let me pummel strike him for another debuff. It's only a chance that he goes prone from the rever reverberation, so he passed all of his checks on it. He's then gonna turn around and start swinging onto a star, and he does connect for a little bit of damage, nothing too crazy. As he then misty steps towards Lazel again. The swords that Dungan was trying to avoid can apparently fly as they make their way towards Shadowheart and Starion dealing damage. They do take radiating orb damage though. Um, I am going to walk Shadowheart up the stairs. She will take attack of opportunity. I didn't think it was going to be 30 fucking damage. That's a little ridiculous. And now that I'm up here, I am going to use a Radiance at Dawn. Mm, I suppose I'm a little too close. I did kind of think that would clip everything. But most importantly, we're really close to the main guy, which... Mmm, we'll give him more radiating orbs. So he has eight orbs right now. That means he needs to roll. If he wants to hit Shadowheart, he'd have to roll a 27 to hit her. So that's really good. What's not really good is we lost the Spirit Guardians as a direct result of that. I'm not sure why. He, he must have had some kind of reaction to the spell. Um, Shadowheart is in a very dangerous spot now. So what I'm gonna do is just Sanctuary her which does mean Lazel is gonna be the main focus of this dude. But if we kill him before that matters, then it doesn't matter. Now he does have a parry ready. So I am going to swing once on Lazel. That did not eat the parry, but it did spawn another weapon behind me. So I'm gonna swing again. That fucking missed. Let me try to pummel this dude. He's dazed and spawned in another weapon. Holy shit. All right, now Starion is going to make his way up top to stand right next to where all of this is going on. 
All of these blades just summoned in are hopefully going to be cleaved, although it doesn't say they will. Oh, shit. Okay, we're trying one more time. Oh, no, the attack didn't land on Wargaz. Okay, I bit him to get a little more health. But this is going to come down to Dungan, and I really hope all of these weapons fade at the end of our turn. Dungan is going to cast his Slashing Flourish onto Wargaz. 70% chance to land. He does have a parry ready, apparently. But that doesn't matter. Let's see what Lazel says to this news. Vlaketh. Vlaketh. I have wielded your fury as a blade, roared your wrath as a dragon. You promised ascension, yet I crawl among my own people, low as an asp's belly. Shkaketh! I followed your path. What good, this heart of stone, for it to be shattered? So I guess my plan of keeping her loyal to Vlacketh didn't work out. Oh, wait! Kalir prepared me. Only the heaviest souls soar to the astral. Yes. Yes. I might gain Vlacketh's favor yet. Oh, she's so crazy. An impressive show of faith. Will it be enough for your queen? Silence! I must think. I like how it said she approved. And she yelled at me at the same time. Silence! Oh, can keep going a little longer. Oh my goodness gracious. Now, good news. One of the things I wanted to get for our build is in a display case in this room somewhere. I actually thought it was outside in that main monastery room, but no. Ooh, I didn't know that was there. The Skin Buster. That's a big ax. This display case right here has the necklace of elemental augmentation. When one of your cantrips deals acid, cold, fire, or lightning or thunder damage, add your spell casting modifier to the damage dealt. I'm still working on building up a frost build for a future companion, and that is going to be a perfect item for that setup. I don't think I've ever looted this side of the room. I always go straight over to the Western side because of course, there is a very big secret in this direction. There's a book in the main monastery that gives you a little bit of insight into what the maintenance routine of the keepers of the monastery was like. And this statue, if you loosen it up a little bit, turns to face the rising sun while the other looks at the sunset. Did I get that? Wrong. Do I need to rotate it again? Uh-oh. 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 If I have to rotate it again, I'm screwed. Let's try this. East-West. Don't click it again. There we go. And the secret door on the other side has revealed itself to us. The Daybreak Gate. We are going through. There are whispers and rumors of a legendary weapon held inside of the monastery. And if we play our cards right, we could gain access to that weapon. Now there is a way of avoiding all of the defensive traps down here if you play your cards right. I did not play my cards right. The defensive traps are still here. We're gonna have to figure out a way around those. As far as moving down the main path, this is how you're gonna do it pretty much every time. Every time you break one of those power crystals, it opens the way a little bit more. These are traps and they can be disarmed. I'm not very good at disarming traps. As you can see, a nine on our first roll. Let's try again. That was my only trap disarm kit. So I guess we won't be trying again. For some reason, the trap didn't go off again. Uh, but if I can shoot, Dungan, if I can shoot this down here, 
then the final doorway will be opened. I don't know why you had to move that time, Dungan. Uh, I will be able to avoid this trap if we hop, oh, oh God. <laughs> oh God. If we hop over its area of effect, but Duncan has negative strength, so I don't even know if he's capable of doing that. Now we just need to wait for the rest of the party to get here too. Now as the entirety of our party moves forward, we see a very large pedestal at the end of the path. What well, seems to be some kind of radiating morning star on top of that pedestal. And then some kind of switch that looks like it has a crest we can put in there. Uh, I don't have a crest. <laughs> One person in our party is very, very fond of radiant damage, and that would be Shadowheart. She sees this thing and can't resist. She approaches. Insert item. No, I'm going to take the weapon, the blood of Lathander. Ornate mace hovers before you, suspended in a shaft of brilliant light. A fist-sized piece of amber flecked with crimson is set in the handle, emitting a radiance all its own. This mace must be the legendary blood of Lathander. The amber is said to contain the blood of the Morning Lord himself. Reach into the light and take the mace. You recall all the measures meant to keep you from reaching this place. Taking this mace would surely lead to something quite disastrous. Nah, I'm gonna take it anyway. I was worried your hand was gonna get stuck for a moment. Duncan's like, what's that? Turns out, what we thought was a telescope on top of the monastery is actually a doomsday device that will blow this place up if you take its most precious treasure. All within these walls are doomed to destruction unless you act. Unless you act. So, we have entered turn-based mode. Get me out of this thing, hurry has been called. As we look around, the solar machines have 30 HP in every direction. Dungan is going to reach into his bag and drink a potion of speed. We have three of these. This is going to give me a hasted effect for three turns before I become very lethargic. So with that, Dungan is going to start shooting up to the area above using a slashing flourish if I can. Both attacks on the solar machine. Dungan takes one down and then moves closer to the portal on the western side. We're then going to do another slashing flourish, this time on the northern solar machine. Good damage. But that's it for Dungan right now. He's going to inch forward a little bit more and stop right there. Lazelle then pulls out her bow and starts chunking at the machine behind her. Her damage is much lower, though. Does she have what it takes to do this? Starion moves over. Do you think a fire bolt would deal more damage? Is this thing immune to fire? Well, my, my ranged attack did like six. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, we could do that. And we'll go ahead and end both of their turns right there. Dungan's done, too. And uh, uh, Shadowheart just kind of moves closer to the door, starts banging her hand against the force field, trying to break through it, trying to shatter it like glass, but nothing's happening. Dungan on his turn still has two turns of that hasted effect. He's gonna move to his left and do a slashing flourish at the solar machine on that side. Good. With the rest of his turn, he moves back to the right and fires off a regular shot at 
this one. If he's in range, 100% chance to hit. We hit it. That's two of the four taken care of. Wait, Duncan still has, oh my God, you are insane. He's gonna shoot again. He's gonna shoot one more time if he can. No, that's it for his turn. Shadowheart still unable to do anything, remains still as a starry and tries his firebolt on the solar machine. Yeah, that did a little damage, but it was his only attack for this turn. Starion starts moving towards the wall. Lazelle shoots off an attack of her own for one damage before shooting off again for two damage. She begins to make her way to the door. Only three turns remaining. Now, I am going to have Starion hopefully finish off that one behind him. Actually, Lazelle's shooting first, so two damage, followed by one damage, followed by... Ooh, come on, Astarian. It's done, it's done, it's done. Dungan then moves to the side, and he is going to shoot as well, taking down the solar machine and freeing Shadow Heart from certain doom. How'd you get in there, Dungan? Very, very good. Now everyone's just gonna take that portal out of here like nothing. Ha There's no portal. I guess we have to walk out of here. That part's a little unfortunate. Well, I suppose it's a good thing we had to come back. Inside of this display case is the Horfrost boots that stops this our team holy relic. from falling on it ice. Something that will be very useful oh. in the future. There is also one very, very powerful ring right here in this elegant chest, unless I'm mistaken. This is the Strange Conduit Ring. While concentrating on a spell, the Weir's weapon attacks deals an additional one to four psychic damage. That is definitely going to Dungan, and he can use that very, very well. Now, I'm curious to see if the rest of this place is gonna be mad at us. What normally happens, uh, well, what can happen, is if you are friendly with with the Githyanki on the way in and you don't end up killing the commander, if she finds out what went on in there, and she will, they try to stop you from leaving here. The fight with the wolves that we ended up doing just kind of a room earlier. So at least this part is safe. If the rest of the crash is hostile with me, it would be in my best interest just to waypoint out of here. Uh, as soon as we reach this room, the captain's quarters, or maybe the room before this, the red glow on our minimap is going to fade, and we should be able to cruise around wherever we want. Are they hostile? Are they here? This doesn't look normal. Yeah, they have swords drawn looking at the door. I've actually never seen this before. Oh, I'm gonna see what happens if we fight this. Uh, we just did a short rest. I'm going to have Shadowheart move in with Swirly Release, yeah. ripping out that radiant damage. And let's just run right in here. Don't close the door. Okay, so they are immediately in a fight with us. Well, actually, it would definitely be in our best interest to fight these guys out here. If they will not see sense, we will bleed them dry. Is that what Lazelle just said? So she's straight up turning on everybody here. Well, we're gonna leave that door closed. We're gonna let them advance against us into the Swirly Whirlies and see how this goes. We should be able to see how they're moving around a little bit here. We see mental intrusions happening on the other side of the door. Astarian's going to approach the door and then stand still as Dungan moves away from it. So I wonder if this is all of the survivors of the crash kind of in one spot. Either way, this should be some phenomenal XP and it should be very well worth it for the vendoring as well. Luckily for me, I already interacted with the Githyanki vendor too, so that's already done. We don't have to worry about losing any items there. All in all, I think this went pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how this went. Everyone has dashed forward to the door. Shadowheart is going to open it, walk forward, and then <laughs> cast Radiance of the Dawn. Oh my God. 
Not only is that great damage in every direction, but everyone here has at least 10 radiating orbs on them, which means they have to roll 10 higher on their dice to connect with any of us. Not just Shadowheart, with any of us. Lazel's now gonna move forward with a massive cleave, trying to hit as many of the Githyanki here as she can, and three of them fall. Another youth stepped up only to be put back in their place. Lazel is a warrior of the Githyanki, not a mere youth. And she's gonna end her turn right there. We do have an archer in the room. This is the warfare instructor. And to be fair, he actually did approach this fight in the smartest way, sitting back with a ranged weapon rather than just running forward like a horde towards the door. Historian's gonna begin moving forward on the right side and he's going to rage. Now with Tiger's bloodlust on his side, he is going to remove the heads of anyone he can reach. Recklessly at that as well. Good Lord. Okay, I did think they were gonna put up a little bit more of a fight than this, I gotta be honest. Uh, Starion then rips towards, I guess it was that guy, towards the archer in the room. Uh, Dungan's gonna fire off his shots at the youth who is crowding our shadow heart right now. 70% chance to hit with both. We do connect and the target is frightened. The youth still takes a swing, but the swirly whirlies take him down. And now shadow heart moves forward, sacred flame being cast does not connect, so no more radiant damage there. Uh, Lazel is going to approach and swing at the back of the instructor. You know, you would think your war instructor wouldn't turn his back on melee combatants, but here we are. He did it. Another ranged attack on Lazel. She took nine damage as he then Misty steps away. That's an innate skill that all Githyanki are able to do. We are going to shoot into his back. That first shot does miss. I am going to use a slashing flourish at range to fire off two shots instead. One of those does frighten him and the other connects for 22 damage. So this guy can't approach Dungan anymore and Astarian moves in to cut off the head. Well, well, well. I think that's going to do it for today's episode, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. I am going to scavenge everything I can inside of the monastery, just, you know, so we can vendor them and uh, try to recap a little bit of that gold that we lost. Oh my God, we've been buying so many expensive items. I think my party is going to be able to pretty much wipe up any of the remaining Githyanki here if they decide to do so. And it's all in its all in line with Lazel. She's like, yo, if they're too stupid, that's okay. That's on them. I didn't expect that. Next episode, we will be heading into Act 2. Finally. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'll see you again very soon.